If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to solve the question on your own before listening on. In order to begin solving this question, what we want to do is convert the period from 2.4 hours into the standard unit of seconds. And of course, we know that one hour is equivalent to 3600 seconds. And so when we perform this conversion, we should get 8640 seconds for the period. And we can actually use this period to calculate the mass of the planet using one of Kepler's laws. And one of Kepler's laws relates the period of orbit to the mass of the planet as well as the radius of the orbit. And the radius of the orbit was given in the question. We just figured out the period, and so we can actually solve for the mass of the planet. So we've plugged in the known values into the equation. If we divide both sides of the equation by the term 8 times 10 to the 6 cubed, we would have the following result. We could then reciprocate both sides, and to understand that, we could put this over 1. Basically, we're just going to flip both sides of the equation upside down. We could then multiply both sides by 4 pi squared, and then divide by 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. And we would get 4.06 times 10 to the 24th kilograms for the mass of the planet, and then it turns out we can use the mass of the planet to find its radius. And we can do that by recalling that the acceleration due to gravity on a planet is equal to the gravitational constant times the mass of the planet divided by its radius squared. So what we'll do is solve this equation for radius squared. We can multiply both sides of the equation by r squared, we could then divide by the acceleration due to gravity and take the square root. So once we've isolated the radius, we can plug in the known values. We just determined the mass. The acceleration due to gravity on this planet was given as 8, and then g is a constant. And when we compute this, we should get approximately 5.8 times 10 to the 6th meters for the radius of the planet. So this will be the correct answer. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, click the thumbs up icon and subscribe to the channel so you could see other videos. Remember that you could send in your own question to the email address on the screen and I'll do my best to answer it on YouTube.